What does that say? Does that mean I'm actually jumping on stage today? Holy fucking shit. Oh man, so I woke up every hour on the hour from about 4 o'clock, so it's 7 in the morning now. I have to be down at the Wellington High School by 9.30, a little bit early because my tan's at 9.45 and that's actually the last tan that's been done. Um, every athlete was told to be there by 9.45 today, so fuck man, <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually doing this. I wish, I wish I had someone else here that I could bounce off, you know, um, cause my stomach is... Alright guys, my battery ran out there, but uh, it's about 7.30 and actually, I'll turn these lights off so we can see a little bit better in here. Well, this is what I'm looking like, guys. On the day of the show. So, if I'm going to be completely honest with you guys, the coach, my coach, wasn't that helpful. I mean, fuck, it's the day before the show, and he's he's not not really emailing me too much. He wants me to, obviously. I kept on telling him the main goal was the second show, so he keeps firing back at, oh, don't worry too much about this one, um, you know, don't go overboard with the carbs. Um, he was trying to he was trying to tell me to st stick to a low carbohydrate day for my show day, just because that is how it fit into my um, diet coming into the next show. So, but that's ridiculous. How can you go? How can you go to a show with a with a low carbohydrate day? So. I've kind of had to work it out myself, which kind of sucks, but obviously I told you guys I stopped drinking water last night at 8 o'clock, which I have. I've had a few sips since then, but not much. So I just wanted to wake up, first of all, and just see how I was looking. Um, which I have. But basically, what I want to tell you guys is that these bottom abs... Basically, I just wanted them to come out, right? And I don't know if they're going to come out without losing more fat. So, I mean, this one here is coming out really good. But this one here only comes out when, I'm, when I've manipulated my water 100%. And I thought, I thought I'd be able to rely on my coach to tell me how to do that, but he hasn't. So anyways, over here... Um, what I've decided to do guys, this is the plan, okay? I've, I've realized that I've actually got fuck all carbs in the house, um, except for these snakes. So I'll be taking these to the show, but first of all, I'm going to eat, I don't want things with huge amount of volume, but I want my protein in there to carry me through for the day and yeah, a few carbs obviously. So I'm going to have the soup, the whole thing. There's 250 calories. It's only got 40 grams of carbs. Um, and obviously it's not, it's not going to be hard for my body to digest, so I'm going to have that. And for my protein, for the morning at least, I've got the chicken cooking over here. So I'll probably have about 80 grams of that. No, sorry, 80 grams of protein worth, so like 400 grams. And I'll stick that in the soup, and then I'm going to eat that. So that's about 7.30. And then in about an hour and a half time, an hour and a half, in about 90 minutes, I will be eating my big carbohydrate dense meal um, two hours before I jump on stage uh, so yeah at around about nine o'clock and so I'm gonna have to demolish that and then head straight down to the um, to the high school to get my tan at 9:45. so that is what I'm gonna do you know what I'm eating here I'll show you guys what I what I get from the shop because that is I've got no carbs here so um, I'm thinking rice cakes or Something that's not going to distend my stomach. I wish I knew all the answers because I'm getting worried, but really I shouldn't be because it's all about having fun, isn't it? So.
I catch myself getting too serious from time to time. But uh, it's hard not to. Anyway, I'll show you guys what I get from the shop. It hasn't been too long. The soup isn't going down that well. I want something nicer and with more carbs in it. So before I go down to the uh, shop, I'm actually going to do something that I forgot about until recently, but that little gymnasium down the hall, they've got some awesome weights, perfect for exactly what I need. I've decided I'm going to get a taxi down to the um, venue. So that means that I can go and grab some uh, little dumbbells. So I've got to choose what weights I want to take. So fuck, if I'm going to be using them for you know, rear delts, side delts, biceps, triceps, I'm thinking a couple of 10 kg weights would go pretty good. So that is what I'm going to go and get now. And I'll take you along for the ride. Hopefully no one's in there. Maybe one of each, that is probably a good idea. So I'll go one. Ah, fuck, what do I do? Ten's not enough for biceps, but it's enough for triceps. It's enough for side laterals. It's too much for rear delts. Take the eights. All right, we're back. Two apples and two weights. Stoked I got those, absolutely stoked. That's really made me happy. So I've also got this, and I'll just pack them all into my bag. What have we got, shorts here. And now I'm gonna chuck a top on and go down the road to the shop, get some carbs and eat. But I don't wanna eat, I want abs. Fuck you, go away. All right guys, so we've just arrived back. Um, yeah, racking my brain as to what I was going to get. You know what I was going to go for? I was going to go for rice cakes, peanut butter, and honey, which is fats and carbs, obviously. But I'll tell you what, I have just found the most ingenious thing, and it combines all three into one in little bite-sized pieces, and this is what I got. So, one square meal bites. Each bite will have four grams of protein, six grams of fat, and 15 grams of carbs. So that's exactly what I wanted. Um, and then I can add on extra carbs on top of that with the lollies if I want. So I got a pack of these. I'll start munching on those in about an hour. It's about quarter past eight at the moment. And I also bought a couple of bananas too, to take with me. And the only other thing I need now is some footwear because you're not allowed to get tan anywhere and they always say bring some footwear. So I tried to go buy some jandals or some thongs, um, but nothing's open and I'm assuming it's because it's Saturday morning. So yeah, we may be in a bit of a pickle there because oh, I might just take a pair of, so pair of socks, put them on. That'll be all right. I'll take some black socks and I'll put them on. Done. Fuck. All right, what to do, what to do, stress. How are we looking guys? All shaped up. Time for a shower. We're getting serious.
This guy, this guy Greg Plitt has been with me this entire way. If there's one guy that inspires me right now, it's him. And sadly, he died before I got to know him. So, with that being said, he's probably my my version of Ziz, which I have talked about before. And um, yeah, he's definitely pushed me. He's been in my ears every single morning when I hit cardio. It's been fantastic, but we are nearly ready to go. I've called the taxi. We've got all my shit here ready to pack up. So, for, so, uh, so yeah, I'll pack that shit up and catching a taxi at nine. I'm gonna be there early. Fuck it, doesn't matter. Um, no more water from now. I'm actually feeling like I'm tightening up slightly in in the right lighting, of course. <laughs> Um, so yeah, ain't nothing left to do but to do it guys, so I'll see you at Wellington High School um, where I will be surrounded by fellow athletes. Classes, 